Hello and welcome to the Labrore Mansion. This is a map by Config MC, also known as Cold Fusion Gaming, and me. My name is I212, and this uh, Labrore Mansion is a sort of a suspense uh, puzzle kind of map, and it really has a very interesting storyline. Um, so I guess we'll just kind of kick things off right here. Uh, Welcome to the little Broar Mansion I-212. Okay. Um, okay, so we have map rules. Now play, break or place blocks, per usual. Um, no mods, cheats, or hacks that alter gameplay. We don't have any of those. Be sure to use the required resource pack, which we are. Uh, peaceful difficulty recommended. Okay. That's a first. Backstory. Okay. Characters. Right, please read the entire book before starting. Right, my name is Dan Labrore. About a year ago, my grandfather died. This was his mansion. My grandfather was a very rich man. Naturally, my grand my father inherited this place. My aunt inherited it most. Uh, inher my aunt inherited most of the cash. I was away at college while this all happened. This was my second visit to the mansion. This is my second visit to the mansion. The first was when I was seven. My grandfather really creeped me out back then. He kept barring windows and locking doors, almost as if something were after him. His paranoia made his hair stand up on my neck, and looking back, it still does. Times have changed, though. My grandfather is something of the past. My father told me that over the phone that he was working on remaking the place to feel more like a home and less like a prison. The mansion still looks eerie in the darkness, I was supposed to get over here around dinner time, but my plane was three hours late and there was traffic on the highway. It's now 11.59 p.m. Everybody must be sleeping. I completely forgot the layout of this mansion, but I remember that the guest room was somewhere in the back of the first floor. Okay, so we'll remember that. I will sketch a map as I search for it so I won't get lost again. And so, the journey into the Labrore Mansion starts. It starts now. Can't say that's quite the best introduction, but... Uh, Alright, characters of the cast of characters in the world of protagonists, I guess that's us. Emily LeBroar, Dan's highly educated mother. Adam LeBroar is Dan's father and the son of Gordon LeBroar. Eva, Le Eva LeBroar, Dan's younger sister. Alexander LeBroar, one of Dan's younger brothers. Alexander LeBroar, Alexander's younger twin. Okay, so I guess that's another sibling. Gordon LeBroar, Dan's grandfather, and the creator of the LeBroar Mansion. So, Gordon LeBroar. This is... Ooh. Heard thunder, I think. Is this the map? Okay. So... So, we're going to put our resistance on short. Just for the effect. There we go. Welcome. Okay, so into the mansion we go. The clock says 11.59 p.m. Just as we arrive, it seems. Important items may be found in drawers. It's a chest, fancy jacket. Home to me. Oh, I guess by the father. Tile fees. What is this? Oh, just a receipt. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, so this is my home, my home to me. Drape covered mirrors hung on unseen walls. Age stained carpets hung on slanted oak floorboards. Gold bordered portraits with masked, shifting eyes. This is my home, my home to me. Unused bare coat hangers texturing the walls. Dim ghostly candles dancing shadows past corners. Rippled curtains over windows casting their light. This is my home, my home to me. Okay then. So, there's a fancy jacket. <laughs> okay, so, what does this lever do? Hello? Ooh. 
Okay, note to Dan by Emily. I think Emily's the place on doormat. Uh, I guess we'll save that for later. Um, note to Dan, my lovely son. Oh, so the the mother. Well, I know this place is very unfamiliar to you, but I hope you will settle in just fine. The guest room is in the back of the right hallway. If you need anything, then you can find me sleeping in the study. The master bedroom gives me chills. Oh, that's why she's sleeping in the study. Sweet dreams, mom. Okay. So, diamond ring by Evil Labrador. A dusty and ignored. The first diamond ring. Okay. I still remember the day my mother received her first diamond ring. It was her 20th anniversary gift. I was only three. Before Grandpa died, we were a very poor family. My mother looked at the ring with this bitter disgust. My father had spent two month two months savings on the di on that diamond ring. My mother never wore it. She stuffed it in a dusty drawer under a pile of unread book cookbooks. Her second diamond ring was a different story. That was only a couple of years ago. I was eight. Only a couple of years ago, he was what? Father had secured a decent job. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think this is from the sister. Father had secured a decent job, and we were planning to move into a proper two-story house instead of subsiding in our old three-room apartment. Mother loved the second diamond ring. She still wears it now. But the first one lies in this not forgotten nor neglected, just ignored like a bad dream. Oh. It's locked from the other side. How strange. Oh, that's it. That is... Hmm. That's where we're supposed to get to, too. Left hall. Oh, lights. Oh, yikes. Flickering. Flickering this. Oh, whatever that is, that looks creepy. Alright, chest. Investigation point. Find all 100 for a surprise. Oh, okay. Okay, uh. Oh, I guess. Oh, I'm guessing that's iron. Um, okay. The drawer. Flickering light by em Emily LeBroyer. So Emily, of course, is the mother. The lighting in this mansion is horrible. Some lights flicker, some lights burst, and most don't even work at all. I had a look at some old blueprints of Gordon's. The lights should work perfectly fine. The, lo the local electricity engineers took a look at the circuitry and said that it appeared the lighting had been reworked and rerouted dozens of times. What baffles me is that there is no trace of any document confirming their claim. Gordon usually took careful note of such events. It's almost as if he wanted to keep the jumbled circuitry, circuitry a secret. Unfortunately, the circuitry would be far too expensive to mend. I suppose strobe lights are much better than no lights. Huh. Oh, that's a little creepy. Rerouted dozens of times, I guess. Okay, a foyer. Oh, <laughs> outlets. That's funny. Okay, what's in here? Pocket watch. Fourth ancient coin. One of Gordon's prized ancient copper coins. So we've already got the fourth one. Um, okay, so lots of stuff in here. Staircases. We've got a lot of reading to do. Uh, <laughs> okay, I just keep that on me for now. Empty glass. Rope. I guess I'll just keep that stuff on me. I don't know what it would be for, though. Second place trophy. Alex won this at the International Science Fair. Alex is one of the brother, one of the brothers. Oh. Oversized camera. Okay. Uh, judges. Oh, so this is from, of course, yeah, Alex. So this, so a lot of reading. Some of this doesn't even seem very important. Uh, loose change, more threads, more empty glass, a suitcase tag, and a typed document. Another one. Shivers. Ooh, we need to read this one. All right, more thread. More empty glass. 
I hear, every night at midnight, I hear noises. I hear noises come from below. Mother claims it's nothing. She says it's my imagination at work. Why is it always so cold in the mansion? We leave the heater on all day and all night, and yet I still feel cold. I know there's something under me. I can hear it creaking every night, getting closer and closer and closer. But for some reason, Mother cannot hear the impending darkness that leaves shivers in its wake. Shivers and noises, those are the only things this mansion holds. E, that's, that's a little creepy. Uh, oh, okay, another investigation point. Oh, pencil, uh, type document, another one, more thread, uh, pencil, 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 can I write on you? <laughs> no, um, okay, so there's a clock, um, okay, is that it? Yeah, that seems to be it, okay, so here. Empty, but made. Thread. Okay, the light's on again. And, okay, this is where we need to be, okay. So, greenhouse. Ooh, organic solution, poison too. Uh, okay, I can't really see too very much. in here I wonder more organic solutions in these Whoa. oh that's just the dirt uh, ew everything is overgrown what are those buttons on the wall for oh buttons oh okay oh okay so this lights up lights it up just up here, uh, the day. Okay, a couple of organic solutions, which I will not be drinking. What's in here? Garden. That's the last remaining of a set of three. And more organic solutions. A flask. What are these buttons here for? Huh. I bet they have some kind of purpose, I just don't know what it would be. Uh, okay, so this goes outside, I guess? Huh. Okay, so here's a chest. Another investigation point. Okay. Cool. So, so that's the greenhouse. Okay. So I guess further up this hall. Nothing. I think we already looked at that chest. All right. Yeah, that was into the foyer. All right. These chests here are empty. That goes to nowhere. Guest room. Why is the guest? Oh, door's locked. Hmm, there must be a key somewhere. Did we get a key? I don't think we did. Kitchen, kitchen, we can't go in. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, type document and a suitcase tag. Unwritten book. Dusty books by Adam Liberal. Oh, the library. Okay. Oh, can't get in. Uh, loose change. I'll take that. That's the foyer again. Now, where is that key? All right, what could be behind here? Oh, here was here's a chest. Oh, a couple more investigation points. Okay. Okay, okay. So, anything on top? Does 
doesn't seem like it. But in the tree? Nope, nothing in the tree. Oh, yes there is. Alright, cool. An investigation point. Okay. Which makes this somewhat encouraging. So we have six of the hundred. Actually, you know what? Let's start reading some of these. Alright, empty. It says it kind of freaks me out how Gordon LeBroer likes to keep this hallway so empty. He crams all of his important pictures into the other halls, but leaves the walls and tables of this one completely empty. I'm not complaining though. <laughs> it's just less things for me to dust and wash, I suppose. Okay, the day. Mr. Gordon LeBroer asked me to make it in vast quantities, and I said, what? This stuff? And then I asked if it was legal, and he said he was sure that it would be when I was done. That it would be when I was done. Oh, okay. So I mixed and mixed the stuff, stir, 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 add a bit of sodium and some copper arsenate, and it was done. He said he had something to show me, and I had been working towards, what I had been working towards. I am scared, and I want to leave, but I cannot. Mr. LeBlur is a scary man. Ugh, I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing his name so many times. Uh, hmm. So I think that was from the greenhouse. I feel like I had a terrible taste in literature. <laughs> the books in the library are full to the brim with ghost stories and ancient myths. I remember he used to read one of his books to me every now and then. They're all a bunch of nonsense. Then they replace them with some good science fiction and fantasy books. I just got a couple of new books called Mars Mission and Mystery of Pumpkin Castle. Uh, I bet those are two Minecraft maps. Uh, they're good reads so far, though Mars Mission is fairly dated. I bet the shelves will also fill quickly with my wife's cookbook collection. She really likes to collect them, but she never cooks. <laughs> Eva usually does the cooking. She loves to cook and she's really good at it. One could write a story or two about the all the all wonderful meals she makes. Okay. So I guess the staircases. Gordon must have had some design issues. The staircases in this mansion are in most inconvenient places, and the rooms in such an odd layout. Who else would have placed the living room on the top floor? Oh wow, nobody's saying that's for sure. Plus some of the rooms are simply unneeded. What is a clock's room doing in a house? Now I do know that Gordon made his fortune off his watches and clocks. In fact, almost every non-digital clock in the world is his design. Though most people don't know it. Well I suppose there's no going back now, we'll just have to live with the inconvenient stair locations. I'm just getting tired of having to go to to the back of the house every time I wish to travel from the bedroom to the library. Huh. So that's again from the mother. Right. Okay, well, that is going to wrap it up for episode one. See you next time in episode two of the LeBroer Mansion.